much but hurt in the middle class left-wing French intelligentsia because Charlie Hebdo has hurt their feelings again. Let's explore. Hello everyone and welcome to the Freedom Alternative. Ok, this one is going to be short because there is no genuine story here. So Charlie Hebdo published this cartoon. It says, what would have Ilan become had he lived? An ass groper in Germany. For those of you who don't know, Ilan is Ilan Kurdi, the boy who died drowned as a direct consequence of the greed and stupidity of his parents. You know, that's another aspect that slipped through the cracks and didn't end up being presented in, on the news. You know, had his parents been normal people, Ilan would have been alive now, since all three of them were safe, fed and secure in Turkey and probably could have emigrated legally into Europe a few years down the line. Anyway, so according to one Nicolas Kaiser Brill, a co-founder co of a far-left anti-Western online news outlet, this cartoon is racist because Ilan was an Arab and the Kjoln assailants are understood as Arabs. His words, not mine. And as such, there's a racist connection similar to some black people dance well, you are black so you must dance well. If it sounds retarded, it's because it is. But you know, I'll leave his drivel in the low bar so you can read for yourselves, though I think I represented his views quite well. Now the obvious problem with that line of reasoning is that nobody uses it. For starters, the Kjoln assailants were never understood as Arabs but as southern looking with darker skin. That was the official story from day one across the board. But since there is no racist like a leftist racist, one can always count on the middle class left wing prick in the cathedral media to make racist connections between separate events and stories in order to find yet another rhetorically heavy blunt instrument to shut people up. Now, if I were a progressive, I would accuse this Nicola guy of racial stereotyping since he assumes that southern looking with darker skin means Arab even though the description also fits to a portion of the native population of Bosnia, some parts of southern Italy, parts of uh, southern Spain and portions of Sweden. But I wouldn't do that because it would be futile anyway. Racial stereotyping and racist thought is the bread and butter of all modern leftists. You simply cannot spell progressive without racism. Now look. One can reasonably argue that the cartoon is in poor taste. But there is such thing as consumer choice and context. You know, the context is that Charlie Hebdo has an almost impeccable track record of publishing provocative satire, oftentimes in very poor taste. So expecting Charlie Hebdo to cater to anyone's sensibilities is a bit rich. Well, unless you're an Islamist thug and kill most of the staff, in that case, Charlie Hebdo will listen and turn into a nice little dimmy, but that's a different story. On the consumer choice point, if you really don't like it, then don't buy their magazine, don't watch their website and more important, don't promote them, you pretentious prick. But here's the Achilles heel for all the cucks of this nature. They simply can't help it. They feel an overwhelming urge to virtue signal their progressive credentials and full outrage. As such, they have to promote it and thus give a much wider platform than that which they criticize would have had otherwise. I mean, if not for the leftist outrage, most people would have missed this cartoon, just like if not for the Islamic outrage, most people would have never heard of Charlie Hebdo. That's why the Islamic lobby and the leftists are such good friends because they have much more things to unite them than to separate them. On a more broader perspective, the freedom alternative is simple. We all not just have to, but we must have an absolute right to joke about everything, satirize everything, ridicule everything and only censor through the democracy of the wallet and within the legitimate bounds of property. 
For as long as we don't understand this and apply it consistently, and we pretty much don't do that in Europe, we're always going to have cucks who use people's sensibilities to effectively censor some speakers using epithets like racist, sexist, Islamophobic, and the rest of the progressive uh, and the rest of the terms in the progressive agitprop manual, which translate into English as "progressives don't like what you say." Now, personally, I don't think this particular cartoon is glorious, but I also don't think it's uh, racist. And more importantly, even if it were, it should still be allowed to exist, sell, and display. Because one's true commitment to freedom of expression comes precisely when defending expression that one deems offensive. And quelle surprise, the progressives have failed at that. Again. I mean, at least the Islamists are bloody honest, if you pardon my unwitting pun. Anyway, that's all I had to say, and um, I'll see you around on Freedom Alternative.